captain, astronaut, a man barely alive. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. It's been 40 years since Lee Majors played the bionic man on the TV show The Six Million Dollar Man. And now we truly have the technology. Just ask Steve McMillan. The ophthalmologist just told me, uh, well, you might go blind. And... Diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa nearly 30 years ago, McMillan lost his vision in stages. I'd be playing baseball, and about two feet before the ball got towards me, I just lost the ball, could never see it. Then things took a drastic change. I was driving home about two in the morning, and I noticed these headlights coming towards me look a little bit weird. It was probably two, and then there was three headlights, and then it went back to two headlights. I started not noticing a lot of things, and I told Karen, I said, I gotta stop driving. I, I didn't see that person walking down the road. From there, Steve descended into complete blindness. Retinal diseases affect millions of Americans, and now for some, there is hope to see again. That hope is Argus II, the first FDA-approved retinal implant. McMillan is the first Cleveland Clinic patient to receive the device. Here's how it works. A tiny video camera housed in a pair of high-tech glasses captures a scene. That video is sent to a computer worn by the patient. Images are then sent wirelessly to the retinal implant in the eye, and that information is sent through the optic nerve to the brain, creating perception of patterns of light. Patients then learn how to understand these patterns. Dr. Alexandra Ratchetskaya is part of the team treating McMillan. They can see um, based on contrast and light. So a patient who wouldn't know if there was anybody in the room, now can see his grandchildren playing. Cameras captured McMillan's reaction to his first images. I don't see any image yet, but I do see a glow right there. <laughs> You're warm and glowy too. <laughs> so I think it was emotional for all of us. I think his wife was crying and I think all of us wanted to cry. It was just so rewarding. When the device is on, I can see movement. You can't make out full body figures, but I can see like partial arms moving around. Oh, I'm looking forward to being more independent all the time, getting more confidence to walking around in unfamiliar places. It's amazing that the change that it's made in him so much. Yeah, it gives you hope. For Fox 8, I'm Dr. Mark. Dr. Mark is sponsored by the Cleveland Clinic.